Hey, my name is Eli. I'm Jason. I'm Caden. I'm, I'm Nicole. J- I'm Jaden. Wow, we almost got it. So we have Nicole in here, who's actually in here, and we have Jaden. Um, and someday we will get this intro like awesome. We are going to be like experts. We're going to sound like professional uh, TV people or something. But till then, we're just scrubs that are hanging out with all of you guys, and we really, really appreciate that you guys will hang out with us. And as I said before, and I truly mean it with the bottom of my heart, we have a tremendous amount of family. And we get a lot of haters, but we, the family overtakes all the haters, and it's 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 everything to us that we are able to deliver the message of Yahuwah. And I don't see there's any better way in this world. I don't see there's any any way forward other than the Torah of Yah. And salvation always begins where, Jade? At the stake or the tree, the cross. How, how is that? How is the how is salvation delivered to us? Why? By believing in the name of Yehoshua Hamashiach. Right, and then what is that? What else do we do? I, I mean, it. The, we, we, he has repented for us. We follow what he said to do. We believe what he said to do, and he said to follow the Torah, which was his father's words, and we have repentance through his father, through yeah, Yehoshua. Repentance, and then does that give us a license to? Uh, just get off the beaten track, beaten beaten trail every no, little bit. Because if we if we say our sorry, that means we are truly sorry. We don't want to do it again. If we keep doing it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. At some point, it doesn't mean anything. It, it means that we're taking the lashings across the back of Messiah Yahushua from 39 to like we're we're continuing on his lashings because that he took for us. The blood that he shed for us was because of our sins, and it's by his stripes that we are healed. And and. Our Creator has not only provided a guidebook for us for life that breeds life, it breeds success, it breeds blessings, it breeds families, right? It, it is it is everything. And if the entire world kept the Torah of Yah, then this world would be a much better place. And and you know the, I've said this before, but the the world the world is beautiful. It's it's simply the system that is sick, and the the, the devils and demons around us that are sick. And unfortunately. We are amongst tremendous amounts of de- demons and devils and things of that nature. And um, their job is to suck souls. And we are now in what I would have to say is soul sucking season. That if there was ever a season of souls, enormous amounts of souls that are dying, we are here. And so this is, there's no better time than we can spend this amount of time right now reading the Torah, reading the word of Yah, that we are in his arms that we are in his care that we know our creator will carry us through we know that our creator will not allow us to die a horrible you know and and before i even say that we may die a horrible death that is that is not a promise right there's no such thing in fact the book of revelations does say most of us will die um i think it's like revelation four or five that it talks about um the 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 guys the kadeshim guys in the little their little white coats or whatnot and they're sitting there hey when is when's enough enough and they say well we have to wait till the rest of you guys join us in the same fashion that you guys got here so the end is may not be something that we wish but the end is only the beginning for us because we will simply be crossing over. And, you know, we may all sleep until the last trump or like I, I've been praying for a very long time now is I wish and I pray that I do not sleep, that I uh, that I'm able just to cross over and that, and that I can continue on this fight. And um, I, I, I don't want to lose some of the action because I see the action in full on action right now. I see the devils and demons reaping souls and harvesting for Satan, and I am excited about where we are at. I don't see generations ahead of us. I don't see many, many generations ahead of us. There's only so much we can actually say on 153news.net. Excuse me, that's not even where I was saying. There's only so much stuff I could say on on YouTube, and my mind was going to, you can hear it on 153news.net. But again, that is not a place for children. It is a place for adults who are seeking the truth, and it is, it's, it's, it's oftentimes a very foul place because the truth is, is very disturbing. Um, it is in, you know, when, when you understand the truth, when you get to the truth, it's not what you think it is. And so that is my, um, I guess that's my rant for today. So here we are, gentlemen, we are into Exodus. What chapter are we into? 35. 35. All right, let's do our handy dandy, um, split screen, split screen. Right, that came from uh, Builder Bob, the Handy Dandy Tools. Uh, the kids. Wasn't it Blue's Clues, the Handy Dandy Notebook? Oh, it was the Handy Dandy, was it? Yeah, the Blue's Clues. Chair. Okay, yeah, there's just that was that was really. Uh, we used to watch the really old one, and then they got really wacky when they were kids. I guess Steve 
became funky or something. I don't yeah, know. Steve like got sick or something. Steve got sick. The new guy. It's all about pride and stuff now. It's all. I don't know. Yeah, blues isn't good. All right, so let's get into this, guys. Uh, Exodus thirty-five. Um, before we get into this, what happened in the last? A quick recap. Moshe went up to the mountain. And he, after he threw the, the stones, stones down, down. Anger, he had to basically go cut new stones, roll them up the hill. Uh, Do you them. think that Moshe, Moshe cut his own stones by hand, or did he have people like go cut them? I think he was forced to do it himself because he like he was like he he threw these things down out of anger. So like setting these things down and then going yelling at people, he like threw them down out of anger. Like this was like. He kind of committed his own sin in a way where, like, he could have handled that much better instead of, like, breaking what y'all had just, like, spent 40 days with him on. But his heart was broken. These people that he's, he was supposed to be leading are, are horrible people. They're doing evil things. It's like so. you get the marriage certificate, right? And you, like, you, see, you just, like, rip it up. You tear it up. It just, it's kind of what it is. <laughs> yeah. All right. Exodus 35. And Moshe gathered all the assembly of the children of Yashrael together and said unto them, these are the words which Yahuwah has commanded that ye should do to them, that ye should do them. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be to you a holy day, a Shabbat of rest to Yahuwah. Whosoever does work therein shall be put to death. You shall bring no kindle for a fire throughout your habitations upon the Shabbat. Okay, what does that mean? It says do not kindle fire. It does flipping a lighter, is that kindling fire? Yes. Yeah, I would, yeah, I would say so. Uh, uh, yeah. What about turning your stove on? Yeah. yeah. We're not supposed to cook on that day, so you shouldn't even be turning your stove on. Right. Um, for those that don't know, fire was originally not a thing that humans could just do themselves. It was a ordained thing from y'all where y'all would send fire down. If you read the books of Adam and Eve and the books early into Jasher and Enoch, then uh, you would see the that fallen, fire, fallen when, fire, fire. When people were doing sacrifice, y'all would send the fire down and basically give them the fire they needed. But then the fallen came around, and they're like, here's how you make fire, and they showed them. And back in the day, they always say, like, they rub hands and sticks together, but, I mean, times have adapted. we got matches and lighters now, and that's but still is that kin- is it kindling fire? It's it's fire, right, y'all? But it's a flick It's a flick of, of the of the thumb. Septuagint says, do not burn a fire. Do not burn a fire. So there's something magical. I didn't say magical. That's satanic. There's something special about fire. Like, there's, you know, you look at fire, and it's, like, the most destructive thing ever that's out there i mean it just it it burns metals it burns absolutely everything i mean you get in a hot enough fire it, it will take anything i mean look what it did to the, the two giant buildings in new york the fire took down the two oh never mind sorry never mind that's a joke you shall bring no kindle for a fire throughout your habitations upon shabbat and moshe spoke unto all the assembly of the children of yashrael saying this is the thing which yahuwah commanded saying take ye from among you an offering unto yahuwah Whosoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it, an offering of Yahuwah, gold and silver and brass, and blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair, and ram skins dyed red, and antelope skins and chittim wood. Okay, now it feels like I've already, they've already done this, or this I, I, this sound feels like a repeat. Why does this feel like a repeat to me? Well, me? because Yah told us, now this is Moses repeating to everyone what was just said. We have Yah that's like telling Moses what to do, and basically Moses has to go down and relay everything with this. Yeah, but going. remember when they were building up the tabernacle already? They've already gone through this stuff, right? So they've already gone through, you know, these kind of colors, and, you know, when they were building the tabernacle tint skins on the side of it. Okay. And oil for the light, and spices for anointing oil, and for the sweet incense, and onyx stones, and stones to be set for the ephod and for the breastplate. And every wise-hearted among you shall come and make all that Yahuwah has commanded. The tabernacle, his tent, and his covering, his tackets, and his boards, his bars, his pillars, and his sockets. What are tacks? Clasps. Bars. 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 Clasps up there on, on the NIV. Rings. The ark and the staves thereof with the mercy seat and the veil of the covering. The table and his staves and all his vessels and the showbread. The menorah also for the light and his furniture, and his lamps with the oil for the light. And the incense altar, and his staves, and the anointing oil, and the sweet incense, and the hanging for the door at the entering of the tabern- in of the tabernacle. The altar of the ascending smoke offering with his brazen grate, his staves, and all his vessels, the laver, and his foot. The hangings of the court, his pillars, and their sockets, and the hanging of the door of the court. The pens of the tabernacle and the pens of the court and their cords. 
the cloths of service to do service in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron, the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office. And all the assembly of the children of Yashrael departed from the presence of Moshe. And they came, everyone whose heart stirred him up and brought every, and everyone whom his Ruach made willing. And they brought Yahuwah's offering to the work of the tabernacle of the assembly and for all his service and for all the holy garments. And they came, both men and women, as many as were willing hearted and brought bracelets and earrings and rings and tablets and all jewels of gold. And every man that offered 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 an offering of gold unto Yahuwah. Now, where did these guys get all this stuff? Uh, uh, they went right when they robbed the Egyptians, right before they left, they just took all yeah, this they, stuff. Yeah, they pillaged. This, isn't, this, is, this wouldn't be the stuff they had of slaves, right? They, the slaves would have had nothing until they pillaged the Egyptians on the way out. Okay, and every man with whom was found blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair and red skins of rams and antelope skins brought them. Everyone that did offer an offering of silver and brass brought Yahuwah's offering, and every man with whom was found Chittim wood for any work of the service brought it. And all the women that were wise-hearted did spin with their hands and brought that which they had spun, both of blue and of purple and of scarlet and of fine linen. And all the women whose heart stirred them up in wisdom spun goat's hair. And the rulers brought onyx stones and stones to be set for the ephod and for the breastplate and spice and oil for the light and for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense. The children of Yashrael brought a willing offering unto Yahuwah, every man and woman whose heart made them willing to bring for all manner of work which Yahuwah had commanded to be made by the hand of Moshe. And Moshe said unto the children of Yashrael, See, Yahuwah has called by name Beth Asel, the son of Yuri, the son of Kori of the tribe of Yahuda, And he has filled him with the Ruach Elohim in wisdom, in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. I don't know why this feels like I've already read this. Didn't we already talk about this guy? Or? Yeah, we were talking yeah. about this you guy. You already said he chose that guy. Yeah, who told Moses and Moses and everything. It feels like deja vu. Okay. This is, I mean, I've, I've, we've read through this, but the problem when we read this so many times, we don't know where we actually read it, how many times we read it. It's just, a, it's there. We, we've read it. Okay. And to devise curious works, to work in gold and in silver and in brass, and in the cutting of stones to set them and a carving of wood and to, to make any manner of cunning work. And he has put in his heart that he may teach both he and Avole, uh, how do you say that? Let's see. Uh, Aholeva. Aholeva. Uh, yeah, the son of Akamek, Akamek of the tribe of Dan. Them has he filled with wisdom of heart to work all manner of work of the engraver of the cunning workman and the, of the embroider in blue and in purple and scarlet and in fine linen and of the weaver, even of them that do any work and of those that devise cunning work. All right. So that ends this chapter. Um, didn't we already build the temple? Didn't we already do all this so. stuff? I think, yeah, I think he's getting instructions on how to build it. Yeah, he got the instructions. No, because it said before that all the people brought all this stuff before too. So maybe they're like stocking up or something. Maybe they need more. Maybe they need more. Um, Moses was already in the tabernacle. Yeah, Moses was in the tabernacle, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Are we sure? Yeah, because yeah, the, the cloud. The oh pillar right, the pillar down. of the cloud that was came down. Tent of appointment. Tent of appointment. Which um, I don't think is the tabernacle. It's a separate thing. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is why all of us need to read the Torah and try to figure this out. Um, so I don't know. Maybe our uh, thumbnail was wrong or something on that one that, that we had the, the actual tabernacle. But it, the, the Ten of Appointment had the exact same color. Everything kind of had the exact same stuff. Um, so that's something we need to figure out. I guess we need to figure out what is the difference between the Ten of Appointment and the actual tabernacle. And um, because, yeah, Moshe was already in there. Pillar of Cloud was over the top of it. And from what we knew, the cherubim, he already had the Ark in there separated. So I don't know if the Ten of Appointment is, is like completely different than the tabernacle. Um, that's something for us to figure out and try to figure out for all of you guys. So um, we have a ton of um, verses we need to add from the last chapter. We add that, and we hope that you guys are well. We appreciate your guys' time. We thank you guys very much for sitting around, listening to us. If you made it to the end of this, thank you guys very much. Much love to you out there. And um, anybody have anything to add? I uh, just hope you guys have a blessed rest of your week. Uh, it should be This should be coming out, I think, on a Thursday, so you guys should almost be on the preparation day. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just uh, hope your week has been blessed and that uh, if you could pray for our cow, if our cow is still around by the time this comes out, 
you guys have to pray for the cow. Um, It'll probably be over by the time they hear this, unfortunately. Um, but yes, if you guys, if the cow is still alive, please pray for our cow. I, I hate to have people pray for our cows, but it is one of those things that humans are very vulnerable when it comes to their animals, and our cows are our, our pets, and we love our cows. So, All right, everybody, thank you guys very, very much. Um, we will see you guys on the next episode. All right, sure. sure. All right.